Hello everyone, myself Professor Venkat Ghodke. I am associated with Department of ENTC Engineering of AISSNS Institute of Information Technology. In this video, we will see the interfacing of ADC with microcontroller LPC2148. Now here, LPC2148 interfacing with LPC, uh, ADC using the VIC, Vector Interrupt Controller. First of all, we will see here the important features of an ADC. ADC 0, 6 channel, ADC 1, 8 channel, 8 bit type, SA type, supports first mode, repeated conversion at 3 bit to 10 bit resolution, supports simultaneous conversion of both ADCs, conversion time will be 2.44, SOC by software control on timer match, transition on a pin range will be 0 hold to the reference plus 3.3 hold maximum clock frequency will be 4.5 megahertz by programming ADC COEN. We can see here the ADC functional block diagram. This is the ADC functional block diagram along with the status register, global data register, data register 0 and data register 1 and data up to the data register 7. And here the interrupt enable registers are there in this the ADC control registers input will be AD0 to the AD7 up to the AD7 uh, with uh, we can say it the channel selection. ADC control register is there in between clock is required and uh, uh, from P0 16 to P0 12 we can start with this uh, timer matching device. Now here the block uh, explanation ADC0 and ADC1. So we can use the for channel 1 and channel 2. So AD0.1 channel 1 P0.28 we can use here input output device with the LPC2148. AD0.2 P0.29 AD0.3 channel 3 P0.30 AD0.4 channel 4 P0.25 AD0 dot 6 channel 6 p0 dot 4 ad0 dot 7 channel 7 p0 dot 5 similarly for the adc1 ad1 dot 0 channel 0 p0 dot 6 ad1 dot 1 channel 1 p0 dot 8 ad1 dot 2 channel 2 p0 dot 10 ad1 dot 3 channel 3 p0 dot 12 ad1 dot 4 channel 4 p0 dot 13 ad1 dot 5 p channel 5 e0.15 ad1.6 channel 6 p0.21 ad1.7 channel 7 p0.22 so p0.22 is nothing but the pins of input output pins of an lpc2148 now we can see here the adc registers first is the control register select channel clock frequency resolution conversion mode method of issue of soc age for conversions now 70 select select which of the ad0 7 ad1 7 pins is to be sampled and converted for ad0 bit 0 select pin ad0.0 and bit 7 select pin ad0.7 in software controlled mode only one of these bits should be one in hardware scan mode any value containing 1 to 8 now 15 to 8 clock D, DIB, the APB clock PCLK is divided by this value plus 1 to produce the clock for the AD converter, which should be less than or equal to the 4.5 megahertz typically. Software should program the smallest value in this feed that yields a clock of 4.5 megahertz or slightly less. But in certain cases, such as high impedance along analog source a slower clock may be desirable the ad converter on the lpc2148 is also called as the conversion speed is selected by the user so we can calculate like uh, this ad clock frequency so pclk divided by the clk div plus one so finally we will get the 4.5 megahertz frequency now 16 bus the ad converter does a repeated conversion at the rate selected by the CLK is field scanning if necessary through the pins selected by once in the sale field the first conversion after the start corresponds to the least significant one 
in the sale field then higher number one bit spins if applicable a repeated conversion can be terminated by clearing this bit but the conversion starts in progress when this bit is clear will be completed start bits must be 00, zero when bus will be one or conversion will not start now 19 to 17 clocks this bit selects the number of clocks used for each conversion in bus mode and the number of bits of accuracy of the result in the result bits of ADD are between 11 clocks, 10 bits and 4 clocks, 3 bits. Now this is the number of clock cycles used per bit conversion along with the clock field 19, 18, 17. Now 21 pin PDN, PDN0 and PDN1. So for PDN0, the AD converter, converter is in power down mode and PDN1 the AD converter is operational. AD global start register used to initialize, initiate simultaneously conversion on both ADC. Now next one is AD status register, allow simultaneous checking of the status of all the AD channels contains done, overrun, interrupt flags. Now next one is the AD data register, AD, ADR0 to the ADR7 contains most recent converted data and UOC status on repeated channel. Now next one is the global data register contains done bit, most converted data, channel number. Now done bit 31, then will be zero. AD conversion is in progress and done will be one when an AD conversion is complete. For accurate results, you need to wait until this value is one before reading the results bit. Please note that this value is cleared when you read this register. Now, last one is overrun bit 30 while not relevant to the examples used in this tutorial. This value will be one if the results of one or more conversion were lost when converting in bus mode. See the user manual for the further details. As with done, this bit will be clear when you read this register. Now, last one is the results if done is one meaning the conversion is complete these 10 bits will contain a binary number representing the results of our analog to digital conversion it works by measuring the voltage on the analog input pin divided by the voltage on the v reference pins interrupt enable register enable interrupt on uc channel programming adc register examples construction of control words select ADC and uh, channel we can see one example here select uh, ADC 0 channel 1 clock frequency 3.75 megahertz let PCLT is 15 megahertz bus mode repeated conversion and 10 bit resolution power up ADC uh, and issue start of conversion now the solution of this example is that ADC 0 CR will be 0 x 0 1 2 2 one zero three zero two configure sale ACL clock div burst CLKs and PDN bit speed set star signal start of conversion. Now select the ADC one channel zero to seven clock frequency four point five megahertz. Assume PCLK is thirty megahertz bus mode repeated conversion eight bit resolutions. Now we can see here the embedded C program for on chip ADC using the interrupt. Uh, this is for interfacing of ADC with the unchip ADC using the interrupt. So here uh, the in, first of all include the LPC 148 uh, header file include also board, uh, board uh, header files and wide timer 0 wide uh, for attribute interrupt IRQ then interrupt ADC data while is required check status of done bit then uh, ADC data and uh, then holds ISR address of active interrupt writing any value indicates end of the interrupt now interrupt main pin select is there for that ADC01 to the P0.28 pins as ADC input now ADCR so VIC vector control VIC slot 0 timer 0 IRQ bits 0 to 4 VIQ bit 5 now VIC uh, interrupt enable so high bit enable FIQ or IRQ uh, classified interrupts enable to timer now TI timer 
TOMCR, TOMCR will be enable timer and send timer. That's why holds ISR address of the timer and while in return. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video.